is Crappy Peep Susanna here today for Freckled Fawn, and I'm sharing with you this large photo swimming layout. This is my first process video for Freckled Fawn, a new to me paper crafting company. Um, you can do a one time purchase or you can subscribe. I get, I receive uh, the 6x8 scrapbook kit, so I get eight sheets of patterned paper, uh, wood veneer, two sheets of washi, one chipboard, one enamel sticker and a package of alphas and a set of um, something else. <laughs> what would that be? Chipboards. Did I say that already? Yeah, oh, labels. That's the other thing that I get. Um, and then I also add on uh, the three by four pocket cards. So that is what I'm designing with, and I'm designing with the July kit. Um, there is already the preview for the August kits that you can go and see. I'll link you to that in the box description box down below. So this is a 12 by 5 photo that I print at home and I have printed this photo myself um, and I have the, the stripes, uh, colored stripes across the top there are a 3 by 4 journal card that I have cut uh, into, um, I believe that is a half inch strips to um, go across the top of the paper there. And then I am using a, one of the 6 by 8 pieces of pattern paper at the bottom right hand side. I'm using that full and then I will cut the um, those blue triangles um, to fit on that page there. So um, of the six kids that are jumping into the water, one of them is mine and I want to, um, I did not use um, very good use of my depth of field here and so um, all of the people in the photo are in focus and I want to draw attention to my son. So I'm going to use that awesome chipboard arrow that came in this month's kit um, to point him out. And you can see I shuffled the arrow around a fair amount. Um, it, there's a lot of directionality in this photo. So you can see that the lane lines are at one angle, the deck is at a different angle, and then you have the straight up and down of the vertical lines in the strip at the top, and then you have the right to left movement of the uh, triangles, and then you have all of those dots. So I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted the arrow to go. Um, initially I thought it would go best in the black pointing down to him, um, but it, nah, I didn't like that. So then I decided I'm going to use these two journal cards, one that says the details um, and then just has that open space with the blue frame around it, and then the uh, polka dots, the aqua polka dots with the one, two, three, four, five bullet lines in there. Um, and so that is going to house my title and or my journaling. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. I wanted to use this washi to get a little bit more pink into the page. Um, maybe put it between the, um, the photo and the very busy polka dotted multicolored paper except and so I thought I was going to have to back it on cardstock so that you could see it but I changed my mind there's sort of a lot of waffling around here I have a lot like I said there's a lot of competing colors and directions and I am not sure how to ground it all and pull it together so I think that this pink for the title is going to be the answer and so I, you can see there I'm going through the letters of the alphabet or the letters senior um, and in my head I have six and I'm like oh perfect so I can do s-e-n-i-o-r I um and yeah that that wasn't going to work um and I didn't like it on there so I am going to uh shift it off to the left hand side on top of that very busy triangles and I figured that that's going to ground it. Initially I what I wanted to do with these triangles was I was going to stitch a row of the triangles in the triangle paper itself and then pull the triangles all the way across the bottom of the polka dot which I still think is a really cool idea um, and I wish I had been able to make it work but I Lately I have been about efficiency of my pages um, and hand stitching just does not provide for efficiency of pages. While it would add to a very neat effect, um, 
I just, I have so many things that I want to get done that that just doesn't factor in from a time standpoint. And I think I've mentioned this to you before. So if you do subscribe or you do do a one-off purchase, um, that would be something really cool to do is the hand stitching of those triangles. Just kind of throw that out there. Um, so I have pretty much decided that this is going to be the layout. It is super simple. Um, because the photo speaks for itself and there's so much color um, that to add anything else would have just made it even busier than it already is. I do like that pink there, that washi, and the labels. I love the gradation of these labels. Um, and so it just gives me a, a calm spot between in the transition between the photo and that very busy paper there and I am going to put this circle that I'm shuffling around that says here and now there as well because it's a little it's dark too um, and so it has that nice mix of that um, eye-catching pink as well as the balance of the dark to go with the dark sky that is or, or the dark um, it's actually the shadow of the trees that is behind the floodlights of the photo there. So I do decide to go with the arrow along the same plane as the lane lines there, and I will handwrite Nicholas on there so that you know that I'm pointing to my son. Um, and then I want to finish off, I know my title all along is going to be Senior Send-Off. Um, I thought that Send-Off might fit in that yellow label, um, but uh, looking at it, I see that it doesn't, so I'm going to shift Senior up so that I can put Send-Off using the Kit Alpha, um, these blue tile stickers. I'm going to use those for send off to complete the title there. Um, also this month for the wood veneer, you get these really cool, you see them at the top left there. Um, those wood veneers have stars and hearts, so you get two hearts and two stars. I am, typically I would use three so that I could create a visual triangle, but I feel like I've got that busy cluster there that's where the title and the um, yellow label and the arrow are. So I'm just going to use two. Um, and then with the labels is where I get my visual triangle. So you've got the orange label right there where I'm at with that star at the top left over to the pink label that's dividing the photo down to the yellow photo where uh, you label where the title is and that is my visual triangle that moves your eye around the page. Um, so I, I really wanted to incorporate a little bit more washi, but I, I really don't need to. Um, I did use that little piece there that says my life again, just for a small little shot of pink and detail there. And um, I am going to use liquid adhesive to put the um, wood veneers down. And that is pretty much going to wrap it up, my friends. So I will put some more subscription information in the box down below. Enjoy the close-ups. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave the in the box down below as well and I will get back to as soon as you I can thanks for stopping in today I hope you're doing well take care <music>